All right, everyone. Today is a Sunday. I hope you guys are doing really well and that you guys have a great work week coming up. Um, I have kind of a strange request and it also is something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. And I just had a, a you know, a conversation last night with one of my viewers. He wanted to know if it was possible to carbon art gouge with the titanium flux no, the titanium 225 stick welder. So I, I got everything set up. Um, I'm gonna show you what I have going on here really quick and I'll, I'll just walk you through this as quickly as possible. Um, anyways, so let me show you what I got here, sit tight. Also, if you guys could please like, comment and subscribe, that would be great. So sit tight one second here. Also, um, this video is brought to you by my friends at Eccles Saw and Supply. If you guys are sick of the crappy saw blades that you get at the big box store, I highly recommend that you give these guys a call. Let them know that you saw the, the you found out about them at, on YouTube at 26FE. Anyways, let's let's get back into this uh, carbon arc gouging video. All right, so there is my um, my gas powered air compressor set up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one just because I need a lot of air to do this, and I think this machine puts out right around 30 cfm. So that's that end of it. I feel like the sound quality on this video is gonna be really bad. All right. I apologize about the noise. I feel like the sound quality on this video is gonna be kind of rough. Anyways, here's the titanium stick 225. As you can see, it's wide open. And then down here, I have my stinger hooked up to my lug, which goes to my Arc Air uh, 300 amp uh, torch. And then here's a chunk of metal that I have used in previous videos on uh, me running a suitcase off of my uh, um, uh, the titanium machine. So let me get you guys set up in the stand. And I did a little test area here. And, uh, you know, um, let me show you guys what this thing can do. Gloves, I need gloves. All right, you guys ready for this? <laughs> oh, wow. Let me get a wire brush. Hold on.
All right, you guys. I hope that that video that I took, sorry, the lighting's kind of crappy and I'm in kind of a hurry here. Um, I don't know if you can see how much metal that I just took out of that. I just washed out that plate and that was a beefy weld. And this thing, it, it's, it's not even warm. And it did not, it didn't even trip the over temp sensor. Um, yeah, so there you guys have it. Um, I guess if you guys had a, a, a generator and you had to do some field service work, um, I would recommend something either 7,000 watts or bigger to be able to do mobile work like this with a gas powered air compressor and it, it'll probably work. All right, you guys, there you have it. Once again, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of in shock at the, the power of this little machine. I did watch another gentleman's video and he dynoed this thing and it actually puts out like right around 260 amps. That's a lot of juice. And I'm really impressed with this because um, at this shop that I was working at, they would use these 600 amp machines to move a lot of metal. And for the amount of metal that I just moved with this little machine and this setup here, uh, I'm, I'm shocked. Anyways, thank you again for joining me today. Um, sorry about the sound quality of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any requests, um, let me know. Be blessed and peace out.